Hello guys. So I'm back at the barn. I'm just gonna pick up the Range Rover and take it down to the workshop, do a little bit to it, ready for a trip uh, next weekend. So I'm off to Comp Safari. I'm actually racing myself this time, so I'll show you the Land Rover I've got. And, uh, but I just wanted to let you see the new, some new wheels on it. Just three spoke Range Rover alloys. Take the trailer, which is filled up with somebody else's stuff at the moment, so. It's going to be the first time I tow with the V8. But I thought, as I'm up here, I'll just show you my other car, which is a Nissan, which is over here. Because I'm hoping to do um, a video with this as well, just for a bit of fun. So this is it. It's been in the barn for a little while now, a few months. It's still MOT'd and insured, so I'll tax it probably next month. And we'll do a little bit of a road trip, maybe, I was thinking. It's a... Uh, Nissan 300C, 1987. Quite original, not really much been done. It's a three litre V6, automatic. I've had it for probably about eight years now. It's quite like, well, it's typical 80s, isn't it? I always think it's what, um, like a child would draw. If you said, draw a car, they would draw this. It's just a box, basically. I'll get the key in a minute and then I'll show you inside. Here we are, it's inside. Velar seats. Chocolate sort of panelling. Brown as you like. All the original in here. Got the original cassette. Uh, it's lovely to drive on the motorway. Let's see if it goes. I haven't started it for probably about two months, so. But being a Nissan and an 80s Nissan, it'll probably be fine. Here we go. Oh, didn't start as well as I thought. It's missing a bit. It'll clear itself up. Sure, there it goes, getting better. Yeah, fine. That yeah, is the first time I've started it for a few couple months, maybe. Yeah, so pretty good. Got a stopwatch. You always need one of those in your car. Yeah, everything works on it apart from the aircon. Always has since I've had it. It's never really let me down. I've driven it to Spain. <laughs> it's a great car. It's just with the fuel prices at the moment, obviously it's ridiculously expensive to run. So that's why it's parked up at the moment, but I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it really. So yeah, hopefully there'll be some videos with this, but let's carry on with the Range Rover. So I'm just renewing the rear trailing arm bushes and as um, it was fitted with the smaller type trailing arms I thought I'd uh, put the bigger ones on, make a bit of an upgrade out with the towing. Uh, went all okay, quite straightforward. I also put new bushes in the front radius arms so that it's basically got all new bushes underneath now. I've also done the seals and little welding stuff in the past so it's all pretty much up together now. Quite happy with how it's gone. So I'm at the barn now. I've um, just hooked up the trailer onto the Range Rover and um, I'm going to take it down the workshop now and um, load the Land Rover on it. So, uh, yeah.
So as this is the first time I've loaded it on with the Range Rover, we're just getting an idea of um, how it sits on the trailer. So this is a bit of a tedious bit of going backwards and forwards a little bit. This is all loaded up, ready for the trip tomorrow. We're heading up to Staffordshire, um, to a place called uh, Baden Hall, which is uh, sort of uh, an old military complex, I think, or something. Um, should be good fun. Um, I've just driven it along the road just to see how the Range Rover handles the weight. Um, seems to be all right, actually. I was quite surprised. It's obviously going to use a lot of fuel, like I said before. But, um, here's what it is, isn't it? So this is the Land Rover. Um, it's uh, a Range Rover Classic chassis underneath, cut down to 86 inches to sort of represent the 86 inch Series 1 Land Rover. Uh, I've trialled it, I've, had, I've built it 10 years ago now, I can't believe that, but I've trialled it um, with the uh, Somerset and Wiltshire Land Rover Club. And then I decided just to do a bit, a bit of racing and uh, something a little bit more different and exciting, I suppose. It's got a 4.2 Rover V8 from the LSE Range Rover, which is a long wheelbase one. Uh, re rebuilt the engine and it's got an auto box in it. It's all pretty standard. I like really I should have like four pin diffs in it and things like that. But I've uh, touched wood. I haven't um, broken very much sort of <laughs> mechanical stuff. Yeah, so that's it. I do have a canvas roof for it, and it makes it look pretty good then. For racing as you try and keep the weight down. Um, yeah, you've got your roll cage and sort of stuff. Yeah, so um, it's probably the end of this video because I've realised that if I join all the videos together I'm going to end up with one too long. People get bored. So um, I'll cut this one short for now and then um, do another video with all the racing and um, camping up there. So uh, we'll see you for that one.